well, what we've got today is a new arrival. Let's see what's inside this little gem. It's the end of you. So, as you can see from the fact that it's a, a Vostok box, let's have a look and see what's inside. Woohoo! Go. Comes with the normal paraphernalia, the passport instructions and everything else. Which is okay if you can speak Russian, but as you can see I've already sized it. There we go. 22mm fitted lug, solid links, deployment clasp, swirly B on the clasp as you can see. I like to call this the multi grain because I mean it's like you know it's, it's got quite big grains. Standard clasp. Arrangement. It has a bi directional bezel, GRU, which is uh, basically it's like the domestic version of the KGB um, dial, date complication, There's the back. Fully automatic, 2416B, fast stop movement. It has quite good loom, do do do. It has got quite good loom actually. Certified 200 meters depth. Uh, you know, which is quite deep. Right. Basically, what this is is like it's a 420, and um, the 420s are round, standard round stainless steel cases with a Komodersky dial in from the Komodersky classic range. And I like my KGB watch, and I like my I like the idea of the GRU. Right? If you can see that, if it's got a focus, come on, you twatty phone. Oh, there we go. Oh, thank you. Right. It's got the like you know the bat wing, like the Batman logo. Is that this one hasn't got the black tap Batman logo, which I'm quite glad about because it's got the actual like you know GRU. Logo itself. Right, let's stick it on the old Risto. There you go. No, the hands are still going. Now I've had my 710 with the same bracelet as this um, for a while now. And the polish on the um, the metal is very good. This is, is a very good quality stainless steel. Uh, it's got a nice big crown, screw down crown. Uh, you know, the prices have sneaked up a bit on Commodersky.com, but uh, it's like uh, you know, it's still it says three thousand nine hundred and ninety nine rubles. At the moment, which is still like it was, it's, it's only had like a few a few pounds more, a thirty eight. Like you know, I mean, thirty eight quid was getting you a very very good quality watch, a diver's watch that you know, could, like you know, knock a Seiko into the water, simply because I oh, look at that beautiful knurling on the coin edge knurling. Can you see that? Uh, you can see why I chose this. All right. 
kept very good time as well. All right. is it? it is what it is. Uh, I do like that off medium to dark petrol blue. Uh, there's like it is what it is. It is a, a uti utilitarian tall Vostok watch. You know, you wouldn't wear this to go to like dinner with, like you know, but you'd wear this out down, like you know, like you know, what's it when you're driving your car, like for work or something like that. You know, it's a work watch. Tough as tough as the Soviet hammer. I love it. Right, we'll take this to the up view and we'll talk some more. So, there it is on the big view. And you couldn't exactly wear it, like if you're that camouflage sort of like, you know, requirements or something. It is quite ostentatious in that respect. It's very blingy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, you know, look, for what I paid for it, it's a 1.6, um, no, this is 4.20, I, I beg his pardon, like, right? you know, it is like, I, I'm doing the same with the amphibias as what I did with my Commodore's case, which is basically you have one of each case type of the amphibias, which I've only got to get the 170 and the 110, from the mainstream and then it's just a couple of the exotics which are a bit which are like double the price sort of thing uh, like the 970 and um, I can't remember what the other one is and of course like the 350 with the swing notes ones which which was the original amphibia uh, you know it is very very like, you know, pleasing to wear I'm pleased as punch with it right. It, it took a good wind, it's kept a good time, is what you expect. I'll put it on the time grapher at some point and see what it says on there. So um, I've got a, a 160 coming still, but because I've got to do the Reliance MOT this month, Floyd, you know, I'm not being buying very much. Right, but on my other videos, um, there will be, uh, right, I've got huge job lot of stuff in like um just adjust the camera a bit there we go um like a huge job lot of stuff coming which i ended up slashing my finger open like uh, if you remember like i said about i put a new edge on this well in my haste all right now this has got a safety device on it Right, you, you, you see there, this is a safety device, it can't open. Now, when you open it, right, you are supposed to lock it in place, you can't shut it. Now, of course, me, I couldn't wait. Like, I was like, oh, I want to open my buzz, and I put me, I was holding it like that, and it went. And because this is like, this is as sharp as a standing knife, this is like, or sharper, this is razor sharp, like, it, like, blood went out of my finger. So, uh, it did stop in the end, but I was getting to the point where I was going to find my suture kit, and I was going to shoot the suture up, the actual, like, put, put a couple of stitches in it, like, you know, to get, stop it bleeding. I mean, as that's all that would have happened if I took it that if I took myself down to the hospital with it, like you know. So there you go. Vostok 420 GRU, like or internal um, intelligence directorate. Alright. And just as evil, just as nasty as the KGB. It's just that, you know, like we have MI5 and MI6 or the CIA and the NSA. You know, it was the domestic branch of Vost uh, Vostok, um, basically spying. And what what they did was was they spied on the people. They they became the eyes and ears of the party. And um, they were really started by Stalin because um, Beria, like a secret policeman, had uh, control of um, the KGB. 
and um, Starley didn't like the idea of that so he formulated I do believe the GRU to basically counteract the, the growing in power NKVD which became the KGB and uh, he like uh, Stalin was an incredibly um, what's it, paranoid man and even Barrier like you know his long time ally fell foul of Stalin's paranoia and because um, Stalin believed he was plotting and he probably was plotting against Stalin and um, so eyebrow attack and uh, Stalin had him put to death like <laughs> Oh, let's have another Patrice shot at the old um, swirly V, right, with the old deployment glass. Oh, I think for the money, like, you know. I thought, I mean, all, all Vostoks are guaranteed pretty much for 10 years without needing a service. Now, from my experience of what I've seen from stuff, I've got Lloyd E7E 2234 Commanders. Like, right, um, which have never seen the service and are still holding very good time or right, nearly 50 years later so these are these are the watches that will go 20 30 years without a service and all you have to do probably is tweak up a bit of regulation so but i will like um either i will say i will add in quickly i've been wearing this again I wore that yesterday, like, you know, and I can tell you this, like, what, there was a bird in a queue with me, right? She was eyeing me up quite, you know. I mean, lads, if you want to impress the girls, a Rolex is if you want to impress posh girls, but an Omega is if you want, you know, like, I mean, it's my planet ocean. It's not a real one, if anybody says anything, right, like, you know. So I've got to get a new pit, as the pit popped out broke off oh I'm keeping the set keeping the video separate from the V600 and the box stuff like I've got a couple of good bits coming in like the V600 I think might have a problem with it so it, it's not doing it's like you know like some of its functions so I'll have to look at that as well so I'll catch you in the next one look above yourself stay legal